Hello and welcome to our video on special right triangles. In this video, we'll focus on the 45-45-90 case. When you're dealing with this type of triangles, there are two relationships that you want to pay close attention to, okay? One of them is the fact that legs are congruent. In other words, they measure the same, okay? So leg is equal to leg. And the other relationship is the fact that the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. Okay, when you're dealing with this type of problems, I always recommend you to label the parts. Okay, so notice we have a 45, a 90 degree angle. Therefore, since we're, we're dealing with Euclidean geometry, this will also be 45 degrees. Okay, why? Because the sum of interior angles in a triangle in Euclidean geometry will be 180 degrees. Okay, now let's go ahead and label the sides. The one across from your 90 degree angle is what we refer to as the as the hypotenuse, okay? The other ones will be legs. So here's one leg and here's the other leg. Keep in mind that the legs are congruent, so we can already say then that B, this side, is congruent to this side. So B will be equal to two times the square root of five, okay? And that's already one of the values that we were looking for, okay? On the other hand, hypotenuse, okay? Using this particular relationship, I can say that the hypotenuse in this case, it's labeled as A, is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. So in this case, the leg measures 2 times the square root of 5. So let me go ahead and substitute that in there, times the square root of 2. Now, using the properties of radicals, then I can conclude that A is equal to 2 times the square root of 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay? That's already in simplest form. Therefore, I can say that the length of the leg is just 2 square root of 5, and the length of the hypotenuse in this case is just 2 times the square root of 10. Okay? So keep in mind these relationships when you're dealing with 45, 45, 90 triangles. Okay? Let's take a look at another, let's take a look at another example here. Find the lengths of the missing sides. Again, let's go ahead and label all the parts, notice since we have a 45 degree angle here, a 90 degree angle here, and we're dealing on Euclidean geometry, this will be uh, 45 degrees as well, okay? The side across from your 90 degree angle is what we refer to as the hypotenuse, and the sides across from your 45 degree angles are what we refer to as legs, so here's a leg and here's a leg. Keep in mind your, your relationships that we mentioned in the previous example. So we know that legs are congruent. So leg is equal to leg. One of the legs here is uh, 2 times the square root of 2. And the other one is y. So we can already see that y will have a value of 2 times the square root of 2. On the other hand, the hypotenuse will follow this uh, particular relationship. Hypotenuse is equal to the leg times the square root of 2. Now, in this case, the hypotenuse, it's labeled as x. So x is equal to the leg, which we said previously um, had a value of 2 times the square root of 2, times that square root of 2 from the formula, okay, or from the relationship. Now, you just need to be careful here because x then will be 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 becomes the square root of 4. And square root of 4, we know it's 2, so this is just 2 times 2, okay, which is 4. Therefore, your x has a value of 4, okay? So just be um, extra careful with the relationships on 45, 45, 90 special right triangles, okay? Keep in mind that the legs are congruent, and keep also in mind that the hypotenuse will be the measure of the leg times square root of 2, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your day and good luck in your homework.